Hello everybody and welcome back to Evo Space. As always, I am Dor and today we're going to go ahead and start Season 3 here. So, they went ahead and updated the game and there is a bunch of new stuff, right? So, the research tree was completely redone. They re-added in aluminum as a metal and then now you can also go ahead and, and obtain uh, neutronium, I think it was called. The very last metal that we couldn't actually get uh, without cheating it in and using creative modes and stuff like that. But anyways, they also added in a new map gen. Uh, we are using the plains and coasts, I think it was. It was the, the one above the concrete world. And we start off with some stone, and we start off with something called basic platforms. And I don't know if those were in the game last time we played. I, I, unless it's just blocks. It might just be blocks that, uh, that it is. But anyways, we have some of these. So we can go ahead and wander around the map here. But first things first, we need to go ahead and grab some copper because we need to go ahead and start the research. And it's in this screen, so we can go ahead and initialize some of these. So actually, I had a brain fart there. We actually need computations, right? Those are, I think, the same as they were last season here. So we need a computer to go ahead and start making those things. And then we have three tabs of research. So these are all production. These are all like furnaces and metalworking and all that jazz. We have other, which is currently labeled as mist, and then decorations, which is a just a bunch of blocks and stuff like that so what we can go ahead and do right close this screen we need to go ahead and get a computer crafted and going here so we need copper for sure and we need some sand to make some glass but we also need a smelter to go ahead and get those things rolling here so let me just go ahead and toggle those and then up ahead of us there should be some sand on the mini map at least there says there or not sand copper over here so as our copper smelts down here we can go ahead and wander around here um we found copper over that away the, the copper deposit on the map is right there by that big tree, but it's not actually there. It is uh, for the miner that we can place down to just automatically pull from the, the earth here. And did they add in a limit to how much is actually here? Pump jack, fluids, no, I don't see a number. So maybe they're still infinite as they were last last season. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and wander around. We need some sand, I believe, for the glass that we need for the computer. So let me just harvest up a little bit of that as well since we're right here on the side. Okay, so now that we had the copper and stuff going, we went ahead and made the computer here so let's go ahead and plop this down so we can go ahead and get the initial bits of the uh, research com computation things in so we can go ahead and start learning how to make the automated arms because those are going to be huge right now this thing only only feeds into three and then it, it stops processing through so we have to get the arms as soon as possible here so we can go ahead and try and automate a little bit quicker here so we're going to have the furnace heating the sterling engine and that's going to be turning on the electric engine here to go ahead and feed our our computer here to go ahead and process stuff through so if we plop that there we should be able to go ahead and open it up here and we can go ahead and learn the computations is this not how it works now did they change that too uh oh so we're feeding it fuel right now right and it's turned on and now we have a check mark here so if we go ahead and just select a research to go ahead and start going down we need the basic machines to go ahead and get toward automation so let's go ahead and click on that and select it and it is counting down we just don't have a in oh yeah we do have an internal thing okay so i guess it was just building up computations without actually telling us it was doing anything that's cool okay so that's going to process through and it's going to take a few minutes here but it should go pretty smoothly uh we have like 30 logs in the uh in the furnace there so we should be fine but i'm gonna go ahead and set up the base on this coastline here so i was gonna set it up on this side of the thing that we spawned on but it's all like wetlands and stuff so i think i'm just gonna go over there on this section of the um the little river and just set up the base here we have a lava field thing over here this is going to give us basalt and stuff right yeah it gives us basalt clay ore stuff that is going to come in handy later on but right now early game not too too much and let's see do we have any ore types no we still need to go ahead and make the scanners to go ahead and see the floor of what's going to be useful around us and whatnot what is this is this iron that's coal okay cool so yeah i think i'm going to go ahead and set up the base on this side of the river i want to stay close to the river just so we can have like a different scenery since uh, the last two seasons we've just gone into the middle of a forest and just leveled out the entire map to, to grow our base in. You know what? That uh, that research just finished right now. That did not take that long at all. But uh, what we're going to go ahead and do, right, is if we can go ahead and get this to place above the ground here and not in the ground, please. There we go. We're going to go ahead and just level it up one tile because that way when we place everything down, we can go ahead and just kind of cut down on having to actually level out the, the area here. So this is going to be the bottom plate of 
of our base and we're probably going to make it a two-story thing eventually and then shift everything that's on this layer to the second layer and then have all of our piping and conveyor belts and stuff running through the bottom kind of how we had last season's uh, base thing going on well that's all the blocks that we had available to us so we got a little a little shelf of the base thing started here i'm going to go ahead and swim across here and get the other research stuff going i'm going to take the other stuff with us as well actually should we just i'm going to let this thing run until we're out of fuel so i don't waste any any points like the energy that's in the sterling engine and stuff already so let's go ahead and trigger another research here can we go ahead and get this i think we can yes it's counting toward it so that's going to give us the arm so we can go ahead and at least automate a little chunk of this to start with again let me take this stuff with me and if we take a look at the map here we're going to need copper going first and we're going to need uh, coal going as well. Those are like the two main things we need up and running early game here. Uh, this time around though, I didn't realize this last season. I learned it in between and or at the end of it that if we go ahead and shove pumps in the water, the little, just the normal little pump thing, we can go ahead and pump out of the out of the water in the game. So if we're lucky, we don't have to actually set any of the atmospheric condenser things this time around. Okay, so this little, this little setup right here is actually tearing through the early game research here, so that's good for us. Uh, let's go ahead and do the mining station thing as well so we can go ahead and automate that bit as well and can i trigger more of these at, or multiples of these at once or do i have to wait until that thing is done it, i have to wait until it's done okay so it takes over priority so let's go ahead and do the mining unit that's going to give us the mine so we can go ahead and start setting down some of the automated things to go ahead and process the ores for us okay so we have the initial mining rig research so what we're going to go ahead and set our sights on next is the additional storage which is going to give us the stone box and then we're going to go ahead and go for the copper storage rack so we have more storage in that thingy but right now since we have that stuff researched we're going to go ahead and head on over to the copper area which is right here by the trees that i cut down already and we're going to lay down a little tiny platform to go ahead and set the mining unit on top of here so let's go ahead and do this a little three by three inch should be as big as this thing is unless it's been changed and i don't have that thing actually made why do i think i have it made brain yeah i don't have it made i don't have the copper for it either i need to go harvest up some more copper so that's my bad i totally spaced out there so before we actually go ahead and set up the copper mine drill thingy we can go ahead and set this thing up real quick this is just going to be temporary we just have a bunch of copper in our inventory so we could just go ahead and do this give me the crates we can do that and we can do where's my other crate it put it up there for some reason okay that's where it went and i get you back thank you and can we place you where i wanted to place you to begin with which was right there so now we can go ahead and put the copper in here that's all gonna go ahead and get smelted through and then that way this thing is automated and pulling out the copper so that we we have a constant stream of copper going through and not stopping every three bars but i guess while that thing is processing through we can actually go ahead and set this thing up if i can find the little platform i put down there we go and we can go ahead and plop this guy down we have this thing made oh i didn't want to place it down instantly i wanted to go ahead and center it up on the thing dang it let me place that again there we go and we're gonna have the output going toward our base uh, it's not gonna matter too much we're not gonna convey it over there or anything we're just gonna have it processing in this little area for right now is this thing processing without actually being powered no it's uh smoking like it is but it's not actually doing anything so we're gonna set this to go ahead and har harness the copper it's gonna harvest one per every one one every five seconds we have the engine ready to go. We're not going to turn it on right now. We have that thing. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that be. And then we can go ahead and shove this down here. That's going to go ahead and run the whole thing. We're not going to go too overkill with it right now. And then while that stuff processes through, we're going to get enough copper to go ahead and make these guys too. We're going to throw one macerator, one hammer on this line so that we're doubling up our copper early on here before we, uh, before we do anything else here. We can also go ahead and trigger another research too because we are going through a few of them. We're going to do the heat transfer thing here so that we can kind of have a, a little furnace array feeding our line here. And while that's going through the process of researching, we can go ahead and do the, which one is it first that it should go through? Is it through the hammer first, I think? We'll do the hammer and then we'll do the macerator next when we get the copper for it. We have a little bit in here and we have enough apparently for that. Those are pretty cheap. I thought they were more expensive than that. But then we're going to go ahead and need a few more arms. So we're going to need another three or four arms. So it's going to take us a few more minutes here for those things to process through, but we'll have it up and running here in just a second okay so the game keeps crashing which to, is to be expected right they just updated the game so no biggie but uh, it keeps like deleting some stuff but not other stuff and so what i'm gonna go ahead and do i took the furnace and the little setup that we just set up over there and we're just gonna move it over here right we're gonna have this thing feeding into a hammer and we need the hammer going into this and we'll plop it there for right now and then we need the 
product of the hammer going into a macerator so that can go into the macerator and then we can go ahead and expand the little platform here just a smidge we need a couple more little slots here and then with that set we can go ahead and have it extract from you and put you into a furnace and that's going to process the iron it's also going to double our product here for the early game going here so we can take that out and put a furnace there instead and we're going to have to plop a couple furnaces down to go ahead and have everything up and running here in a second but we're going to need a couple of the the sterling engines to get things running a little smoother so what I'll go ahead and do is remove this one for right now we'll go ahead and put it back in a second we'll stick this oops we'll stick this onto the hammer so we can go ahead and automate that for right now at least kind of double our, our output for a second flip this guy around that should be fine let's go ahead and heat him with some wood and then we can go ahead and shove our copper ore in there it'll then automatically go into the macerator for us it won't process through we can just take it from the macerator put it in the furnace for right now and build up enough copper to go ahead and put down some more sterling engines and stuff. I also went ahead and researched the heat pipe. I think I did that a second ago, but we have that going. So now we can go ahead and set up a little, a little array of furnaces to go ahead and feed this entire area here for us instead of having to have four furnaces down for this. All right, cool. We had enough copper to go ahead and make another sterling engine. This is going to go ahead and power the macerator for us. Is an auto save? Is the game going to kill itself? No, we're good. Okay, cool. Every other auto save we keep getting, the game keeps just turning itself off so uh, there's that let me go ahead and take a little bit of wood from you can I take half a stack wasn't that there we go so let's plop that in there that's going to automate the little bit of macerating that needs done and then that's going to go ahead and go into the furnace automatically and there's that and then it goes in and it processes through okay cool so now we have our ores being doubled. We don't have our mine on right now because we still have another stack and change in our inventory. I want to go ahead and empty that out before we do anything else. You know what? We can actually do this, right? We can take this guy for right now and then we can go ahead and place it this way and then have it uh, inputting to the left. And that way it is pulling from the chest here for right now until we are out of copper. Oops, I didn't want to put my tool in there. But that's going to process through and then that way we don't have to sit here and baby it. Okay, and with all the copper processed through, we can go ahead and take that. We're going to go ahead and make one more mining drill. And we also need another arm. So let's go ahead and get that going. We are going to go ahead and get some wood here. I went ahead and cut down all these trees and that's what we've just been using the process through. Actually, I think I should have some more in here, right? Yeah, let's go and just take this so we don't have to go cut trees down. Let's take um, one shelving unit. We'll use one for right now. And then that'll be, I think that'll be bigger than the stone chest is currently available to us. So the stone chest has a lot of little inventory slots. Does it tell me right here? 20 stacks. And this one holds 32 stacks. So we'll go ahead and use the shelving unit for right now. And then while that's processing through, we're going to go ahead and make one more macerator so we can have two on this line because it is kind of coming to a, a, a grind here. The, the hammer can feed two of these, I think, right now. And we can also go ahead and build the sterling engine for this. We're going to also need another one for the other furnace thing. Let's go ahead and make... We already have three of these. Let's make two more of those. Let's make another two, uh, three. I think I just clicked on that to make the furnaces on top. And with those things finish crafting we can go ahead and place the sterling engine back over here we're gonna have to fuel that thing up to get copper rolling down the line again but what we can go ahead and do is lay down a little bit more of the building blocks here so we can place things down and then we're gonna go ahead and remove these guys and scooch them over just a smidge and then we're gonna need a conveyor belt we'll use a conveyor belt here because it won't build that much of a backlog here and I don't really want just a chest full of the broken down gravel stuff from the hammer here and we could just go ahead and do that that and then we should be able to go ahead and place these arms off of the thing here actually we only have one arm we need another one here let me make like five of them there okay so while the other ones are crafting we can go ahead and place that there so the hammer is going to go out into two macerators here and hopefully these two macerators are going to be enough for what's coming through the line and then we'll have them facing that way so we can power them and then i believe both of these can also feel two of these guys on their own so what we're going to do is also remove this guy remove this whole little setup right here and have it going into a conveyor belt as well here so we can have them feeding into two of the furnace is for right now so we can go ahead and set this in motion so something like that and then both of these conveyors can go straight again as well so we're not building a backlog I don't really need it and then we can go ahead and place down some more building blocks because we need the platform to go ahead and place these things down on and we can remove that and actually do we want to do that let's go ahead and not do that let's go ahead and place it back and then what we'll do is place these smelters upside down and that way we can go ahead and just feed them 
from the top here and we can have the furnaces on top for right now we will end up removing these in a minute and replace them with the heat pipes I just don't want to burn a bunch of copper on that right now so we'll go ahead and place those there that's not actually right we need the arms in between here that's my bad we need to go ahead and fix that so we need that there we can get this out of the way is this actually a big enough spot for this it's not I, I think I need to move that one over one so we can actually squeeze two in on this little area so that can go there and then this guy where did he go this guy can go here like so and like so and then we can go ahead and put the furnaces back oops I didn't want to sort my inventory there we can go ahead and put them back like this and that's two of them done and I I oops Oops, I did it again. Uh, I think we can just go ahead and maybe we can have this one terminate in the front there instead of scooching it all over. I don't really want to do that. Let's go ahead and just do that. And something like that should be fine for right now. And then we can go ahead and place down our Sterling engines on these guys so we don't forget those. We can go ahead and have these guys getting powered and then we'll put furnaces on top of that. And then what we're going to do is have all of these furnaces or these smelters output onto the conveyor belts and then the conveyor belt can go ahead and terminate over here somewhere and we'll just have the arm arming it into a storage rack here so we can have this guy going to the side so this is going to work like so and then we can have an arm here going that away and then we can, oh you know what no we need it to be facing the other way so it can grab from the belts so there and then we can have it going right and right into a shelf so that's going to go ahead and store nothing but copper so we can go ahead and plop that in there right now and then what we also need to do really quick is go ahead and set up one of the coal lines really quick it's right behind us and we're just going to have that terminate into a rack as well so that we can go ahead and just manually bring the coal over right now we don't really want to be running lines and stuff i'm going to go ahead and research the scanner so we can go ahead and start building mines and stuff on this side of the the water where we're going to build our base and that way we don't have to kind of conveyor and bridge and stuff over to the water here okay well here's where the Cole says it's supposed to be so we'll go ahead and do another little three by three area and then we will go ahead and have it go out three or four and then that should be enough space for all of the things we need to place down which is like two things so it's not the end of the world here we can go ahead and place that there we should be able to select coal and then we'll just go ahead and have that go out into an arm I'm pretty sure we need an arm I don't think we can just auto place things into the rack here but we can go ahead and do that that's going to be pretty simple we can just have a bunch of coal backlogged into this and then we need one of these guys going into this to go ahead and power it so that and then we need a furnace on top of you and then what we'll go ahead and do is go ahead and throw these six coal that we have in our inventory in there that should double or triple it i think hopefully and then that'll go ahead and start going into here and i'm gonna go ahead and let it run for a minute so i can go ahead and actually power up our little copper area over there so i had to go ahead and change a couple things here right we have two of the sterling engines given this thing power because it needed them it was going really slowly it still only lets us take 2.5 seconds to go ahead and get one item but it is is filling up the kinetic bar here a lot quicker so that we actually stay on target with that two and a half seconds of output here so one furnace is able to keep up with both of those right now because they only want 200 kilowatts or 200 watts and the furnace produces 400 so it's 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 running this thing with no issues right now the other thing we had to go ahead and change here is we can't arm directly out of the mining unit we have to have it go on a conveyor it wouldn't go directly into the storage rack i don't know if i put a chest here if it'll auto input into the chest or not but we went ahead and just scooted it over we have two arms feeding the rack because one arm is not fast enough it will put two pieces of coal on the belt here and then it'll fill up the backlog thing here with one coal and then as this thing is processing it'll only stack to one it won't continue to stack so we'll just be burning fuel while uh, the backlog is going so I went ahead and did that it fixed it we have some going in here now and we're getting it at a pretty decent pace here so I'm gonna go ahead and head on over here really quick and we can go ahead and fuel up our copper line here but before we actually go ahead and do that let's go ahead and take the arm out and we can go ahead and place some conveyors down like that and then we can go ahead and place the arm and have it going to the right that's gonna put the copper into the hammer the hammer should export onto the belt and that should feed both of the macerators here those macerators should feed all four of the smelters and then we should be good to go ahead and have things going into the rack at the end there 
So we will go ahead and put, uh, we'll put the 11 stack in the copper thing here. That's going to start making that. We have nothing in here. So let's go ahead and put half a stack in there. And that's going to power the hammer. We have nothing in here either. Let's put another 16 into that macerator. This macerator can get 16. And then we will go ahead and put eight in each of these so that we have enough fuel for the furnaces at least. And can I do this without taking too much there there we go and we can go ahead and plop that in there we have 12 left over did i put any in here i did and for right now we'll just go ahead and just plop it in there that should be fine so any second here we should have stuff coming out there we go and then it's going to go there and then this guy's going to put another one out before this is done processing and everything should be running smoothly but before we go ahead and wrap up today's episode let's go ahead and move our research thing we just finished off the scans we don't have enough copper to go ahead and make the scanner right now how much is it going to be oh yeah we definitely don't have enough to make that we need steel and we need circuits so yeah that's that's not something we can actually do right now but let's go ahead and move this over to the other side of the water here so that we at least have the thingy over there with us so we don't have to come over here again and for right now we'll just go ahead and plop it over here in the corner so that we can have it kind of visible for us to remember to trigger things and feel it up and I guess we can also set something else in motion here so we need we need cutting to go ahead and start automating the ability to make the parts and plates and stuff like that. So we can go ahead and start set that in motion. And I guess what we'll end up doing is a couple more of the tier one things in between episodes here. But for right now, I think that's going to go ahead and be it for today's episode. We got a beginning line of copper. We got a little thing of coal being produced and that's going to go ahead and set us in motion to go ahead and get things rolling a little bit quicker here but in between episodes i think i'll go ahead and expand the platform just a smidge here and then hopefully get enough copper and stuff going that we're able to go ahead and maybe make the scanner next episode because we need to go ahead and start finding stuff on this side of the river here and before i actually forget we are running on the noon sun setting and we have it locked to stay always sunny so we don't have to keep skipping the day and stuff like that but anyways that's going to go ahead and be it for today's episode so hope you guys enjoyed as always and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching